Cool. So the last lesson we did, we looked at how computers can detect errors and correct them. Hands up if you've ever been to the supermarket and you've scanned in your um, groceries and it comes up with the, the grocery items. Have you guys done that? Yeah? Hands down. So what happens when you've scanned it and it isn't reading properly, what does the checkout person do? Or what do what do you what what would the checkout person do? You have they'll ask you have to ask them and they will like scan something. Yeah, they do scan something and sometimes they have to key in something, don't they? They have to it just can't be read because it might be folded and so they have to do something. What do they have to do? Don't they have that on their key? Don't they have that little Barcode yeah, they do. They do. And, um, don't they scan that on the sheet? They do, but it still doesn't tell us what the product is. So at the bottom of a product, you've got the barcode, right? The, the black and the white, but then you've got some numbers underneath. And those numbers have a thing called a checksum at the end. Yep. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So they have to type in the numbers because they just can't read it, right? And so that last number is called a checksum, and I'm going to teach you guys today how it works. Dylan, could you just go and get something from the back of the classroom there that's got a 13-digit barcode for us, and we'll see how it works. Cool, so call out the numbers loud and proud, but I don't want to know the 13th number. I only want to know the 12 digits before that. Nine. Yeah. Three. Mm-hmm. One. Yes. Zero. Yes. Four. Yes. Nine. Yes. Two. Yes. Zero. Yes. Zero. Yes. Zero. <laughs> Four. Yes. Five. Okay, I'm just going to read that back to you. Can you double check for me? Nine, three, one, zero, four, nine, two. Zero, 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 four, five. True? Cool. Okay, so now we've got these numbers up on the board, what I need you guys to do is to help me add up just this top row. So nine plus one is? Ten. Ten plus four is? Fourteen. Fourteen plus two is? Sixteen. Sixteen plus four is? Eighteen. And we're only interested in the ones column. So what number in 20 is in the ones column? Sam? It's in the tens, good try. Zero. So we're just going to record the zero here because that's the only number we're interested in. Now we're going to add up the bottom column. Three plus zero is? Three plus nine is? Twelve. Twelve plus zero is? Twelve. Twelve plus five is? Seventeen. But we're only interested in the ones column? Seven. Now the bottom one, we're going to times by three, but here's the trick, we're only interested in the ones column. What's seven times three, and what's the value in the ones column? Freddie. One. Who else got one? Cool. It is equal to one. What's zero plus one? One. Cool. Now, if I had to make zero, which is really ten, right? because we're only interested in the ones column. If I had to make zero, what would be that missing number in there? Yeah? Zero. One plus what makes 10? Nine. The check sum is nine. True or false? Cool. So that's the mathematical equation that's underneath every single barcode, right? Okay, so let's have a look at what happens if I heard something wrong. Let's say that I heard the four as a five. So the first thing that would change is this. Would this be a zero still? No. What would that become? One. one. Okay, which then changes one plus one isn't one anymore. What is it? Two. That becomes two. So does two plus what makes ten, is it nine? nine. It becomes eight. And so because I typed in one number wrong, the check sum is incorrect and it beeps back at you to say it's not right. And so you have to type the number in again.
And because we're people, what do you think the most common mistake is when we're typing in numbers? What's the thing we would get wrong the most? Robert? Yeah, the number. What would we do with the numbers that would make it different? Yeah. But would I read the number wrong? What would I do? You might put instead of the one, instead of being nine one, it might be one nine. Yeah. So did you notice that this was the first number, this was the second number, this is the first number, this is the second number. The reason for that is, is that the most common mistakes we make is we swap these around. I might read 93, but my fingers type in 39. True? Have you ever done that when you're typing yeah. and you get your letters around the wrong way? Yeah. And that's the kind of thing that this checksum stops us from meaning that we go in to buy a pack of Pokemon cards and we get charged for a solar panel robot kit. True? Yeah. 